Alright, hello, hello to all my guys, gals, and non-binary pals out there across the electrical ocean. This is Jazzman back with a game. We've got uh, Garavo playing Full Faction Shattered Peaks, and the Flayed One playing Full Faction Under Depths. The Flayed One. Shout out to all my Necron fans in the comments. Flayed One's super scary. And uh, he's playing, uh, he's got a Pit Dragon. Alright, nice. Some good old-fashioned big beefy demon boys. Just the way Underdepths was uh, intended to be played. No, we don't. We, we, we don't want any of this skimpy bikini girl nonsense. We want we want demons. We want big, mean, scary demons, and the occasional skimpy elf girl. But uh, Shattered Peak on the Shattered Peak side, we have uh, some ugly-looking motherfuckers. We've got Cyclops. We've got dirty dogs, and we've got uh, whatever the fuck this thing is—a spider, robot spider. Very appropriate for uh, for Shattered Peaks. But, uh, Pit Dragon here gonna munch someone's face off in a minute. We've got, uh, as long as that Mage Knight moves out of the way. Go on, do it. Mo move, let Pit Dragon through. Come on! Move! Okay, he's not gonna move. He's gonna, Fire Dancer's gonna throw some flames at the, at the Rock Shaper here. Uh, Nephrite Guardian, you could bodyguard, but probably doesn't need to at this stage. Nobody, nobody has even capped mid font yet. That's uh, that's a little surprising. So it looks like they both decided to ignore the font and uh, go straight to the action. Uh, just you know, uh, fighting together in this uh, in this big old mosh pit. And uh, that's a that's actually a really lucky positioning of the totem. Well, maybe not lucky because it's predetermined spacing, but the the totem the totem being dropped behind the pit dragon sort of uh, cuts off its retreat. Not that Pit Dragon would ever need to retreat. Like, why would it? It's it's got 22 damage. What Pit Dragon? Pit Dragon decides when he retreats, and the answer is never. But uh, Whirling Quarry takes out the banner all the way in the back, and uh, I'm kind of surprised to see people are still running this thing. I know Sizem is really good, but I don't know. 78 Nora for just Sizem seems a little. Eh. I think like if I were running IS, for example, IS has Demolition Team, and it's about the same price. Like they're two, they're two completely different runes. But basically, what I'm trying to say is that Sizem has always felt sort of, uh, sort of overpriced. But ooh, that ooh man, that rock trap was very, uh, very well placed here by Garavo, stunning both the Pit Dragon and the Mage Knight. So no contesting of the font for the Flayed One. Uh, now Messenger coming in to whip. He, she whips the Nephrite Guardian into shape for some reason. I guess. Oh yeah, you can you can get the last hit on that totem. And then uh, Fire Dancer, meanwhile, is going to haggle with these guys. I, I really like Fire Dancers. I, I I think Fire Dancer is like the most. I want to say like the most non-UD champion in UD because it's basically a ball of uh, ball of CC and efficiency. But you don't really see a lot of an under under depths really doesn't have a lot of that outside of a few uh, select few deep elves. They have like she has deflect like she's got flamethrower for range. She's she's got some great abilities and uh, opportunistic kind of cuts down to cuts back on the downside of being five speed. So she I, I'd recommend under depths players checking into fire dancer, checking her out, checking her out very closely, but. Uh, Let's see what Garavo does with his font advantage. He leaps back into Pit Dragon's face with Firecase. That is very bold, my friend. Uh, Firecase, though, he, he's the kind of champion that's just meant to die. He knows his purpose in life, and his purpose is to die. So he just, he, he, he accepts it. He accepts that he is nothing but food for Mr. Pit Dragon. And uh, Rock Shaper, on the other hand, Rock Shaper values his life a little more. Rock Shaper is like, I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna stand close, but I'm not gonna stand too close. You know, I want to be, I want to be in the action, but I don't want to be like the front of the action. And uh, the Whirling Quarry uh, knocks Deep Elf Fire Dancer into the lava, so she's gonna be taking more damage than she wants to from fire. And yeah, Whirling Quarry, like what I was saying about Sizem earlier, is basically, this guy is basically only used for Sizem. I mean, Whirling Stones is good, but, I mean, the quarry itself doesn't do much other than that. He comes in, he pops a relic, and then he occasionally knocks someone back. That's sort of all he is. And Fire Dancer, oh god, Fire Dancer. Alright, well, Whirling Quarry is definitely getting uh, his Nora cost this game <laughs> out of him. Fire Dancer gets knocked back yet again into the lava and goes pop. 
I mean, flayed one. You gotta, you gotta read these abilities, my man. I know. It, I said it. I said it before. Reading is very difficult for people in this generation, but reading is imperative in this game. Now here, I would expect a bodyguard, but now the problem is attacking breaks bodyguard. So the pit dragon uh, will be unbodyguarded now, and very vulnerable. Come on, you, you gotta, you gotta do something. You can't let pit dragon go down like this. You gotta, you gotta give him some, uh, some action. He gets whipped. He's at 30 damage. Jeez! He gets whipped and hits once. All right. Are we going to see... Um, he's, he's 4 AP short of a kill. Man, Pit Dragon wants... Okay, so he's going to get Fire Blast for the kill. He hits Pit. He hits his own Pit Dragon. I mean, at this point, you might as well just get the globe. Yeah, because Pit Dragon was going to die to the bird anyway. Uh, and meanwhile, we've got Mage Knight versus Conqueror in the font. And man, a uh, hey, pit dragon at 30 damage, uh, you love to see it. Even even though he died after one hit, it's like, uh, that just brings me back to the to ye old days of Underdepths and its beat sticks. Deep Elf Priestess shuttling people in from seven spaces away. And uh, stuff like pit dragon and Maxarek beating face. Hmm. Hoongan getting some hits and then Conqueror healing up. I really don't think Mage Knight wins this. Uh, oh wait, there's a stalker. Okay, I completely missed the stalker. I, I did join this game like one or two turns late, so I wasn't up to speed on all the stealth. So apparently there was a stalker in play, and uh, he's he just waited. He waited for Pit Dragon to die because he knew he knew he couldn't take Pit Dragon one v one. And ah, Garvo wins. Okay, well, it was nice to see Pit Dragon in action. Uh, well, we could. I'm just that was a short game. I'm gonna hop into another one. Maybe we'll get them on the crackback. Maybe we'll see uh, a rematch for the ages here. Whenever I uh, whenever I get a short game, I'm always conflicted on uh, on whether or not I should just hop back through the lobby because it's like I, I want to give players who don't usually get games on the channel like their chance to shine, you know, in their own in their own games. But if you surrender, like I I can't really do much if the game doesn't go on that long. But hey, you're you're on the channel, you two. Just so uh, just so you know. Uh, we could we could get the Sugavara game. I already recorded Sugavara though. Uh, none of these players are uh, I really new. I, I recorded one game of Sugavara's just recently, and the same with Booza's game. That's uh, that's another one I got recently. Uh, I got these guys as well. What if IQ? What if I just okay? Never mind. We've got okay. We got Garvo versus Pox Jedi. Good, good. And uh, yeah, so we're going to have Pox Jedi here playing a split between Shattered Peaks and Under Depths. And then Garbo, of course, playing full faction Shattered Peaks again. I'm assuming it's the same deck. And uh, I guess it was just good stuff Shattered Peaks. I couldn't really find a, a theme among his champions in that last game. So we're going to have Hoongan, and then we're going to have uh, Angel grabbing the fonts. Angel is a nice first turn deploy, of course. But uh, running SP Angel in this climate... Hmm, really? SP Angel is uh, is not really a champion I would consider anymore. Like, she got nerfed pretty hard, let's be real. Like, she was... Uh, it, it's kind of a shame what happened to her. Like, back in the day, she used to be just used for pull and, uh, and occasional CC. Like, she had magic damage, like, six range as well. And she had, like, aerial supremacy, the usual angel package. And then she was changed to be more than just a pull bot, and uh, she had to be nerfed because of it. But uh, she and now she's basically back to being a pull bot, and uh, these other abilities don't ever matter too much because she's 90 Nora. And why would you deploy a 90 Nora, 90 Nora angel? And glares at, uh, at ST Angel derisively. But uh, Hoongan going to not quite capture the font. I think uh, Pox Jedi should move one more, because otherwise he'll be short of the font. No, okay, well. Three, four, five. Uh, yep, he's one short of the font. If he would have moved here, he would have been fine to grab that top font next turn. But no, now he's going to be one short too, because you're flying, right? You can just hop over this chasm and, and be good. But uh, Conqueror for mid. Conqueror is really nice. I mean, his namesake ability. Let's him haggle really well for fonts, of course, with the life siphon too. Then uh, is that a Havoc's Touch on Battle Fiend? Man, what what year have I teleported back into? Havoc's Touch on a Battle Fiend. What the hell are you doing, Pox Jedi? You you better you better have some shenanigans up your sleeve to uh, to completely ignore your top font here. 
Uh, he's he okay. He it's fine. He it's he's trusting in the force to guide him. He knows he knows what he needs. We'll see if uh, if he can actually obtain it here. I'm get like if if you're gonna have X touch your battle fiend, like you shouldn't be afraid of one v oneing the conqueror, right? Like like look at this guy. Look at look at this guy. Look at how tricked out he is with with shit. Like, you could totally one v one the conqueror and be fine, but instead he swung his angel over. Maybe he wants to. Oh. Okay, well, apparently the Force dictated that Pox Jedi surrender that game. Well, fine then. Screw you too. I'm gonna... <laughs> I, I I can't... I don't even know what to say. Like, he he misplayed? Maybe that was a misclick, actually. Maybe he uh, didn't intend to send Angel that way at all. Uh, okay, I'm hoping the next game will be longer. Longer than five minutes. I can never tell. Like, some of these games, like... Honestly, when I'm on a roll, like when I'm, you know, when I can actually talk <laughs> more than uh, more than I usually feel like talking, I really don't want to. Um, I, I really don't want to cut the recording short. I think I might just cue myself, and you know, because these games, I've already got a lot of these guys uh, games up on the channel recently, so I, I might as well just get uh, some of my own. I don't even know. I don't even know what deck I cued with. <laughs> I, I just saw. The, the the opportunity was like all right so now i'm against garabo and uh oh yeah this is my uh my sl acid deck uh all right i this isn't really optimized at all but i guess i'll i'll roll with it uh, what do i want here i guess i guess pursuer because he's seven speed he can get my fonts he can leap over the chasm you know, I, if I wanted to be a, to be a real dick, I could have saved Pursuer and just leapt over this uh, this chasm to get to this font. But I'm I'm I'm, in, I'm not in the mood to be a to be a meanie today. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it out how it, how this game was uh, meant to be played. So we could go now. Nah, we're not gonna go Dragon Skull yet. We're gonna send a champ to mid, and uh, I'm kind of feeling Sand Snipe. I mean, I, okay, so I know Garvo's got. <laughs> this, this is kind of nah. You know what? I'm gonna go with. Uh, Ah, eh, screw it. I'll go with Sand Snipe. Yeah. I don't know what he's going to be sending out, but I've seen some of his champions, and I feel like range is maybe my best option. He, unless he deploys Conqueror, in which case I'm kind of screwed. But, I mean, he got Conqueror twice uh, twice in the early deploys uh, in his previous games. So, like, what are the odds he gets Conqueror again, right? Like, come on. That, that's not going to happen. He, he simply will not deploy Boil Conqueror. And then I'll be fine. And then I can deploy, like, I don't know, probably Cobra next turn. If I have the Nora. I don't think I will. Eh, 52. Eh, 16. No, I won't. All right. Well, uh, Crested Fesh comes down. I don't have any anti-summon, do I? Uh, I think I might have Magnetize. Oh, my God. He did deploy Conqueror. You piece of shit. And I was being nice by not going for your top font. <laughs> okay. Well, all I've got now is a Drummer. Uh... Mm, yeah. I guess I'll just grab my font and uh, and I'll deal with that conqueror when it comes to it. See here, I could maybe justify Dragon Skull, but I think I think Drummer is not too bad. Like I can stall with Flourish, and then you know swap uh, swap them out, keep uh, keep Snipe in the back where he was meant to be. Mm, yeah, yeah. Then I'll have the fesh on my ass too. Yeah. Fine, I'll deploy. I, I I need. I want to deploy champions. I got to get bodies on the board now. So we got drummer. I can I can stall for flourish. SP doesn't have any cleanse, so flourish is uh, is the good is uh, the best option I've got. And then conqueror. Conqueror has life siphon. What is? Do I have any anti healing? I don't think I do. I have any anti healing either. And I I'd, I'd probably be pretty stupid for magnetizing a single fesh. He's going for the aura, and that's fine. I'll regen some of that. He, he's not going for the top font. That is interesting. Oh, no, he is. Okay, he's going with Hoongan. I mean, that, that sets him back. I, I don't know why he wouldn't go with Mika. Like, you don't really need Mika in mid right now. Like, you need you need combat champions in mid. Uh, all right. Uh, I, the, the problem here is he's got a flyer, and I'm going to have to keep something by my font for pretty much the whole game because of that. Mm, I can't actually leave. I guess I could put down a banner, but then I couldn't deploy. So we're going to, I guess, just ignore the Fesh for the time being. And I do have Strike, the Conqueror, so we could do that. 
Uh, yeah, I think I want like acid elemental beard. Scour everybody. Move in with drummer a little bit. Can't really block the fesh at this point. Uh, you have eight speed. That sucks. Mm -hmm. Four, five. I've got to. I got to move back here. Into the Fesh's range, but out of Conqueror's range is uh, it's nice. And I might as well go for a piercing shot, because why the hell not? 15. Yep. I'm, I'm wishing now that I took... I mean, if I, I could have taken precision on my snipes, but I'm like, you know, he's got evasive, he's got five defense. I, I'm pretty sure in this situation, taking strike, like having strike is the better option over precision, because 20% damage reduction versus negating five defense is, you know... I think that comes out in favor of having strike. But Ishungan is short of the font, so I'll be up a little bit of Nora. And man, don't you dare, don't you dare send that Conqueror down to uh, down to my font. I'd be very sad. So the Fesh, going to hit up my Snipe a little bit. If he runs in, yeah, if he runs in, I'm just going to flourish and uh, disengage for free. For free? Yes, for free indeed. I could deploy Bombardier. I think I'm going to go with Bombardier, get that sabotage going. And we're going to leap. So I, I'm, I'm fine with my bottom font for now. He didn't send his voil that way. And uh, let's see, what do we... Get? We're going to do a flourish. Yeah, we're going to flourish these bozos. And then stick our drummer in the font. Um, probably find us like walking up like this. Could I drum? Oh no, nah, there's no way I drum and kill. Blech. Uh, can't really, uh, can't really attack either, but we're just going to retreat, like, over here. And then, uh, then we'll move Acid. I mean, he's disengaged as well, so it's not like he can't get to my snipe. So we'll just, I don't know, we'll just stick Acid Elemental here. Save. We're not going to do a bomb yet. We're going to save AP, because he'll probably run his Fesh, like, into my face again. And I want to have the AP to, uh, to kill it on my next turn. So we're fine. He might actually run the Conqueror into my face as well because he is disengaged, but that will take away his buff. And I mean, eh, Snipe should be fine. I'm not too worried about the damage he's got on the board right now. He's actually running away, which is nice. That will let me set up a kill, perhaps. I've got Drum, I've got Piercing Shot up next turn. So uh, what did that last piercing, uh, piercing Shot do? 12? I think it was, I think it was like, oh, no, it was 15. All right, so I've got 15 on a Piercing Shot. Mmm, 15, and then that'll do, if I drum, that's plus 3, so 12, and then 9, it's 21, yeah, what the hell, oh yeah, sabotage, ooh, I got a stalker, I've caught a stalker in my web, so stalker gets immediately de-stealthed by, uh, by that sabotage, thankfully. Now here I could deploy, I think I'm going to deploy another Asset Elemental for more uh, for more Amp. I could do like a Skull Banner combo, but that's uh, it's not as good because I want I want more champions. Uh, or I guess I'll deploy it here. See, if, if even if that, uh, that Shadow Spawn did go through, I would have just deployed Asset Elemental and found him anyway. Uh, so we're going to, I guess we'll kill the Fesh. Mm, should I kill the Fesh? Yeah, I'll kill the Fesh. Can't do anything else for now. There's nine. Get our uh, get our ch zeal damage <laughs> stacking. I don't know when this guy was given zeal damage as an upgrade option, but I very I, I very much enjoy that. I think he used to have like crappier upgrades. Maybe I just wasn't uh, wasn't paying attention as much. Uh, I guess we go. Oh, we'll kill with drummer. Why not? And then we'll save some AP on our, our on our on our acid elemental. I could do a bomb as well. I think I might just do that. Bomb. And, uh, could I, could I have drummed and killed with the, nah, there's no way. I'm out of, yeah, it might have been, it might have been close, because I do have 20% amp, but eh, I'm not one to, I'm not going to calculate these things. What do I look like, a good player? So we're going to entangle, just so you can't get away. And uh, the question is, do I save piercing shot? Because he's probably going to run away, right, with that conqueror. I think, uh, and if I save piercing shot here, hmm. He gonna do he's, he's probably just gonna pacify me if I run up right so maybe the, maybe the better option is just to stay back and wait on drum mm, but then it like there's no way I can avoid a pacify right I think I just have to go in for the shot 
Because he, like, if he really wanted to pacify me, he could, but he'd probably sacrifice Mika doing it. Whatever. We'll get the nice uh, 16 damage chunk. And he's entangled, so no attacks this turn. <laughs> SP, SP has no cleanse, and I love it. I, I love it right now, but if I ever play SP and I'm like, fuck, I'm entangled, I'm blinded, I'm, you know, I'm charred three from whatever bullshit, then then I hate it. Then it's uh, it's a lot less uh, it's a lot less fun. So he's gonna pacify my snipe, expected. But I don't really need him on my next turn. I can just leap and kill with Pursuer. Mm, I can drum. If I really have to, I can use a I can use an Acid Storm. I think I might just do that. Just because uh, it'd be easier than having to calculate. <laughs> you guys ever you guys ever just throw down spells because you don't want to have to bother to calculate shit? I, I do that sometimes. It goes with a Fire Case. Mm, fire Case is fine. A lot less annoying than it used to be. Maybe I just go for the Hoongan. Like, he doesn't have much healing either, right? Yeah, because I can totally kill that Hoongan. If I get... Well, I mean, I mean, it would it would require an Acid Storm anyway, because I don't have... The, the Acid Elemental can't take Acid Bomb anymore, which is a little, uh, little sad. He can only take Corrosive Grenade. I think that was actually my change, the change that I proposed. Because I was like, well... The logic at the time was he has 10 damage and bombs do bomb three does 80%. So it's like, well, 80% of 10 is eight. So you might as well just have an eight damage bomb, corrosive grenade. But that uh, that logic did not pan out too well. But uh, he's you can I can scour. Yeah, I don't I don't need acid storm. I can scour with the the bombardier's bomb. And uh, that will be does he have pawn? No, he doesn't have pawn. OK, good. So I can scour with that. And uh, I probably should have drummed first. I'm an idiot. Uh, do I need the drum? I also could have scoured with Acid Elemental. That's true. Uh, yeah, we're going to... I think now is a good time for the relics. So we're going to drop... We're going to drop some of these. And... Uh, eh. I leap. Yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to drum. Make sure uh, we ensure the kill. That... And then leap 20 biggins. Damn. And then, uh, oh, he's left with one. I mean, he'll die to the scour, but then he'll get the globe. Eh, can't really do anything about that. Whatever. We'll put drummer in the way and uh, move our snipe to the back. Uh, is my pursuer dead? I don't think so, because he has one hit here, one here, one here. Also, you're Vuln Acid, so you'll just die in retaliation. Eh, if he does kill it, I uh, I wouldn't be surprised because he has like echo chamber and shit. But eh. one for one, plus I'd mop up with uh, like I'd mop up the conqueror and probably this guy as well. Because I got this this asset elemental coming in the back. If he does get this globe somehow, then uh, I'll, he'll be in double hit range with asset elemental, and he does. So SL bonus, please uh, please put in work for me. He's getting a lot of healing, actually, from the uh, the Life Siphon Twisted Essence combo. Oof. He's going to be healing up that global uh, scour damage. I got 45% amp already with basically just Dragon Skull and champions I'd want to deploy anyway. But uh, Acid acid is, uh, acid is a theme. I, I'm not sure how good it is. I haven't played much with this deck yet. I just threw together what I thought would be good. He's actually going for... Wait, he went for the Drummer with the Fesh. I guess he's saving that square for the Stalker. But yeah, like I said, he doesn't have the kill. Like he can't, uh, can't Nova. Ah, oh, shit! He ran. He put the quarry out and got rid of my skull. Well, that's a little unfortunate. I, I, you know, I should have seen that coming. I know he's running the quarry because I watched one of his other games. I, I should have blocked with the banner. But that's my dang. I wasn't thinking ahead that far. Like, oh yeah, skull. <laughs> I got to get that down. But uh, he, he's actually going for the. Okay, well, I mean. He's going for the drummer when drum has already been used, so like, fine, I guess. I mean, it's good that he's going for the, you know, the power turn unit, but once I've already power turned, it's like, what's the point? So I kill the I kill the conqueror here with snipe, and I probably I don't have any good way to get around scrapper because I don't run uh, I don't run precision on my snipes. I do have bombs though. Like I got bombs aplenty. I got acid bomb here, acid bomb there. They're all on cooldown right now, but I don't care. 
Kiss of Vex. I could do a Kiss of Vex for vulnerability if I need to. I might actually have to do that here because he has, well, no, he has four defense and yeah, I'm just going to deploy. I, I'll, just, I'll just deploy a third Acid Amp champ. That'll, that'll probably give me enough. I got 30% now. So I need Snipe to kill you because of Strike. Do a normal shot and then a piercing shot. And then that, will that be a kill? Damn, that'll be a kill. 19 and 10. So, could go for, well, Mika has a bash, probably not. I want to get this Hoongan, but uh, the striker, sorry, the stalker with Vuln is looking mighty juicy. I might just, I might just sacrifice my drummer and kill the, well, no, because, yeah, like, he'll only get one hit. If he wants to kill my, my drummer, so be it. I'll, I'll hit once. How about that? And then uh, I'll move in. I can't hit that Hoongan in the back with Bombardier just yet. Move back, keep everybody safe. Ah, he's on two. Uh, fine. Finish with Drummer. Whatever. And we'll take that Nura. And uh, this Acid Elemental can block for Snipe, I think. Do this. How much does he take? Eight damage with Vuln and 30% amp. That's not too bad. Uh, I think I want to block here. I want to keep uh, Hoongan off my drummer. Ooh, actually, could I leap into that font in the back? Would that be worth it? On 20 HP, doesn't have like Rock Trap or anything. I think I just want to block. Mm, ah, but that font, the font is so juicy. I could block with Acid Elemental, actually. I don't need, I don't need Pursuer over there. Yeah, give me that font. Oh wait, does he have Slaver's Whip? Shit, I think it might be running Slaver's Whip. Oh wait, I, 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 I don't have time to uh, deliberate. I just need to get in there. So we'll hit uh, we'll hit you, and uh, that'll be the end of the turn. I'm pretty sure he does run Slaver's Whip, and I was thinking if he has it, like he could leap this fire case back over and possess me, and then just walk me off a cliff next turn. I mean, it's it would be kind of bad, but Pursuer's on 22 HP, and he's taken an, a font for his trouble, so it's probably worth it. Firecase, I was going to get a juicy Nihilite onto everybody. Oof. Yep, there goes Drummer. But he already got a good drum out, out of him, so it's not too bad. And this Stalker, I mean, I don't know, man. He's relying on Scrapper, but with Vuln and Amp, I don't think that Stalker lives. Like, he can heal, but uh, this Asset Elemental can bomb. Get around that. This Asset Elemental can also bomb. Because he's in range, and yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm I'm in, a good, I'm, in a, I'm in a pretty good position here. Pursuer, I'm thinking I'm gonna leap up top and nab that other font. Because this one, I mean, he has a banner here, but he doesn't have a champ, so it's not like he'll get it back. And uh, yep, this game is not looking too bad. I haven't used any Kiss of Vex yet. I haven't used any spells. I guess I could do a target dummy on like my snipe or my asset elemental here if I need to, but he doesn't really have damage out. Like he's got he's got his. Uh, Passive, his, his passive crew, Firecase and, and Mika. Mm, all right, well, another Firecase. I think I just go into the font anyway, or maybe I leap. Yeah, I think maybe I leap for his banner <laughs> and just be a little, be a little nuisance. Uh, mm -hmm. Or I think yeah, I'm safe there, so I kill his banner next turn. And what do I go with? Drake. I kind of want Drake, but I also want Vex. I'm gonna go with Vex. Mommy? Sorry. Uh, mommy? Sorry. Uh, we're gonna go Stalker kill. Uh, but he pushed me out of range. Eh, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll endure the, uh, the burr. Just so that I can get a good corrosive grenade here. And, uh, ooh, a rock trap. Well, don't mind if I do. Uh, I don't know what that rock trap was supposed to accomplish. Like, the way he positioned it, I wouldn't have walked into it with anything. Like, why am I, why would I walk this way, right? Like, your stalker is right there. If anything, I would have walked backwards, and, like, putting the rock trap here, like, between my snipe and the stalker would have been, like, killer. Like, I would have had nothing for that. But uh, the way it's positioned here, I mean, I can just kill it. Uh, I'll do another corrosive grenade, because why not? Take out the trap, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. And, yep, those bombs. Man, those bombs are starting to hurt. So there's another attack from Old Asset Elemental. And I guess I just kill Firecase, yeah. Well, that's pretty nice. Uh, I would say in this position, I would be very surprised if I lost this game. 
Uh, I guess I'll hit Nika once as well. So there's the poke. I get charmed, but I do not care. And I'm out of range. So that'll be that. Not too bad, and that lava is kind of cutting off Mika's escape as well, and also blocking the Whirling Quarry from getting to the font. If I lose if I lose this asset elemental here, I'm fine with that, because I've got his font contested, I've got more amp uh, in the back. I'm, I'm in a pretty good position. And he... he is not. He's got Firecase. I'm surprised that that's all he can afford. Like, he, where, are his, uh, where are his actual champions? He'll probably use, like, a Thunderhead Totem here to kill my asset elemental. That's, yeah, it is what it is. Actually, does he even, no, he doesn't even need it. He's got 10 here, and then uh, the quarry. Actually, it depends, because this is end of it, yeah. This is end of turn, so he'll actually knock me out of aura range. Or at least he should, right? Because whirling stones will trigger first, and then aura will trigger, but I'll be out of range. Like, I'll be here. I'll be here so that, yeah. And this triggers at the start of my turn. He does, a, he does a Thunder Strike to try and deal with my Pursuer. Man, Thunder Strike, ah, it, it's disappointing. This is like one of the worst Avatar abilities. It's literally weaker than Chain Lightning, and Chain Lightning is a basic ability. Okay, well, he, he uses Avalanche as well to, to kill that Pursuer. Hey, I'm fine with that, my man. You, you do whatever you have to do. And yeah, it does. It pushes him out of uh, aura range before aura triggers. So, I mean, at this point, I kind of just run away with the game. Uh, Asset Elemental can't move without dying. Mm, I'm just going to make him work for that kill. I've got uh, I've got a bomb here to get around a bash. Uh, I'll just move you up. I, or, I could, or I could save the bomb. Like, there's really no reason to, to waste the bomb here. Rather just wait. 20 damage from a dart wing. Sheesh! That is crazy. Yeah, amp can really get going. Like, Acid Amp is like... I wouldn't say it's like old Frost Amp tier, but... It's 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 close. It's close in some respects cuz I mean Dragon Skull is basically the uh the ice shard and ice shard was nerfed. I think just a lot of people don't play SL or you know Acid Amp in general. So it's one of those decks that's flying uh, kind of under the radar. Uh, I could do Draco Leech. Nah, he's more of a he's more of a counter deploy. I'm going to go with Guardian. I could deploy the last 10% of my amp as well. Uh, nah, I'm going to go with Drake. I, I changed my mind like three times there, but I'm going to go with Drake. Because he, he comes in with some AP because of Vex, and uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to get a hit on that quarry, though. Because uh, it will kill my Acid Elemental if I do. I can move back like two spaces and force him to burn more AP than he'd want to on it. Or I could get a hit and kill it myself. Now nah, I'm just going to move back. I'll force him to, to move into a slightly annoying position for him to have to kill it. Because then if he, like, if he moves up here, it's more of a waste of AP. And he's going to do it. Yep. Mm, and they say, yeah, see, this was this was all an elaborate bait because now he's he's on 4 AP. And I mean, when you want to, when your champion's at 4 AP, your natural incl inclination is to save 4 AP, right? Because everyone always does. Okay, and he surrendered. So, yep, yeah, that was uh, predictable. Uh, well played to both of us, and we'll see everyone in the next one.